Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Facebook or Meta Pixel event tracking across your WordPress website using the Pixel Your Site plugin. Now, I have other videos on setting up your Facebook or Meta Pixel and how to actually install it on your website. So, links in the description down below. In this video, we're going to talk about actually tracking conversions on your website. So, we're going to go to the Pixel Your Site plugin and I want to come down here to events. And so for our example here, we're going to be adding a lead event for every time somebody comes to my thank you page. So every time somebody opts in, they'll be brought to this thank you page. And so if they land on this page, I know that they are counted or to be counted as a lead. So we'll come back over here. I'm going to go ahead and add my, to my event list. And I'm going to call this a lead event. And so now I need to go ahead and set up my event trigger. So if I event when page visit, or there's several other options here, but they're all part of the Pixel Your Site Pro plugin, which I do recommend getting because there's a lot of really awesome features, but it's a bit beyond the scope of this video. Anyway, you can see that we have page visit, which is what we're gonna use here because we're tracking people that land on my thank you page. But there's also click on an HTML link or click on a CSS selector or mouse over CSS selector or page scroll or post type. So quite a few advanced options with the pro plugin, but page visits good enough for what we're doing. And then we could also add a delay here. So if we wanna make sure that the person is on our page for at least three seconds before we count them as a lead, you could go ahead and do that. That way you know that they actually landed on the thank you page and didn't just randomly land on it and then click off of it. Like three seconds should be enough time to have the page load and maybe they read the word thank you for signing up and so on. So it's just up to you if you wanna add a delay or not. I'm gonna do no delay, but you can do what makes sense for your business. And now there's another pro feature right here. So fire this event only once in blank hours. So this could be beneficial if you're having people trigger the same event again and again and again, like you're triple counting leads or something like that. Enabling this pro option could help you reduce like double counting or triple counting and so on. Next we have this drop down. So URL contains or URL matches or URL parameters contain or URLs parameters match. And the last two are for the pro version of the plugin. We're gonna go ahead and do URL contains and I'm just gonna say thank you and you could also add additional urls so if you have like url contains thank you and maybe lead magnet then this event would trigger on both pages now we also need to make sure that you enable facebook so that way pixel your site knows to fire off your facebook pixel and we need to go ahead and select the event type as well so in this case we want it to be a lead but you can see that it has all of the different event types Additionally, you could add a custom event. So if you have something unique outside the purview of this list right here, you could create a custom event and name it over here. But for my purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a lead. And I actually recommend, try to use the Facebook pre-established events because Facebook actually knows what these events mean. Like they know the difference between a purchase and a lead. Whereas if you have some custom event, Facebook might not understand what that event actually means. So I recommend using the pre-established event so that way it talks nicely to Facebook. So I'm gonna select lead here and I could go ahead and add parameters as well. So if I know that each lead that signs up is generally worth about $1, I could go ahead and plug one right in here and I could select my currency and we could select the US dollar right here. And I could also fill out these additional parameters like content name, content IDs, content category. And this could actually help me categorize my leads. Like if I wanted to track leads that only land on my thank you page, then I could delete lead magnet right here. And I could call content name thank you. And then I know that this event is fired on all my thank you page leads versus my lead magnet page leads. And you could also add custom parameters as well. So if you want to send other information over into Facebook or Meta, you could go ahead and fill out this information right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete this option. And then we'll scroll on down. And of course, if you have Google Analytics, you can go ahead and flip this on and fire off a Google Analytics event. But this is a Facebook or Meta tutorial, so I'm not gonna talk about Google Analytics. So we'll scroll on down here and save the event. And now what I wanna go ahead and do is come to my thank you page and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. And I should see in the top right corner using my Meta Pixel Helper, I should see some events being fired off and I see a number three right there. So it looks like something's going on. So I have three events happening here. I have two lead events and we can see the information right here. Like I see the content name, thank you, which is a parameter that I filled out and we can see additional information here as well. And let me check out this other lead event that fired off. And so this one looks like it's coming from my API conversion tracking. So we'll check that out in just a second in the Facebook ads manager. And then I have my page view event also firing off, which is something that happens on every page. So it does look like my leads are being counted on the thank you page. I could go to my main page and I should not see a lead event happening. And I don't, I just see a, a regular page view event. So let's go ahead and test this out to make sure it's working correctly. 
And I'll come back to events manager here and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my page. And I have the test events option right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my activity and clear activity. And then I wanna go ahead and click on confirm your website's events are set up correctly. So I'll open this up. And then I'm gonna plug in my URL for my website and open the website. And it should start tracking my events. So immediately I see the page view event page view event fired off and now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my thank you page and I should see a lead event pop into my events manager as well so we come over here and I can see two lead events fired off and so that's probably not ideal because I'm double counting right now so let me go ahead and click into here and see if I can troubleshoot what's going on and as I was in the process of troubleshooting you can see that Facebook figured out that it was the same thing and it deduplicated my lead so thankfully Facebook is smart enough to know like if the same IP address lands on the same page at the same exact second well then it's probably a duplicate lead and it should remove one of them and it did automatically for me and so with that it looks like my lead events are working correctly now it's just a matter of coming in here and adding events for any sort of conversion that you want to track whether it's a lead or a purchase or anything like that and the idea being that you want to feed Facebook or meta as much information as possible so that way it can better help you optimize your advertising efforts and that way you can make millions and millions of dollars and so that's it for this video hopefully you found it helpful if you did I appreciate any sorts of likes comments subscribes and or check out crazymarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day